Go. Hello, my name is Scott Christopherson, lead mechanic here at the Hostel Shop. In today's video, we'd like to discuss tubes and the different valve stems, how to inflate them, and some of the different accessories you can use with them. Um, we'll start out, the biggest question between tubes is which valve stem you have in there. Tubes come in two different valve stems. One is a Schrader valve stem. Most people recognize this because it's what you have on your car. A Schrader valve stem has a spring inside of it that helps keep the valve shut. That's why the, the tube is it's a little larger. Prestas are smaller in diameter. They do not have a spring inside them. Prestas were designed because the rims, when the bike, racing bikes, the tires are getting narrower and narrower, the rims are getting narrower. Schrader valve is much bigger, so it was harder to, to uh, drill a hole in there to get the proper size, so they developed a smaller one. Since the Presta valve does not have a spring in there to keep it shut, they have a little nut on top that you have to close. So if you have Presta valves on your wheel and you go to inflate the wheel, first thing you need to do is open the valve up. Just turn the nut till it stops turning. You can put your pump on there and pump it up. When you're done, the air pressure will tend to keep the valve shut, so we won't hear all the heat hissing back out. But you still want to close this so that if something was to bump it, the air won't get out. Schrader valves um, generally are going to be black. You will find some metal ones out there. Same thing as in your car. Put your pump on there, start inflating it. The air goes past, pushes on the, past the spring, and inflates the tire for you. Very simple to use. If you have Presta valves, but you don't like them because your pump doesn't fit on, you have a home air compressor um, or something, you can get an adapter. You make an adapter like this that will screw on. What you'll do first is open the valve up, screw the adapter on, now you'll put your pump on. You'll see it's about the same size at the tip where your pump fits as a standard Schrader valve. Now you can pump your tire up just like you would normal, the normal Schrader. When you're done, it's a good idea to remove this, close the valve back up. If you wish to store this on your wheel, you can just thread it back onto there so it's on there. Or if you, uh, on your bike, if you have two of them, you can store one on each wheel, trike three of them, or you can store this in your seat bag, have it with you so that if you do want to uh, inflate your tires when you're on the road somewhere, stop at a gas station or something, you can do that. One word about using gas station pumps, their regulators, the air pressure they put out is usually quite high. You gotta be very careful when you're using a, a compressor like that that you don't know what the gauge is set at because bicycle tires generally somewhere between 80 and 120 pounds PSI. Most gas stations have their compressors set up at 250 pounds. You start to use an air, air compressor at a gas station, you start to inflate it, lose track of what you're doing, next thing you know it goes bang because you're up way above what the pressure in the tire is rated for. So use a little caution when you're doing that. If you have a Presta valve rim, but kind of fall in love with Schrader valves, you can put these through. Again, the size is different, so the hole in your rim is going to be a different size. Well, the company that makes, there's a few companies out there that make adapters for them. This adapter will fit over the valve stem, so when you put it through the rim, your valve stem now properly fits in the rim itself. So it makes the thing about the same size, so that your valve stem will fit properly. Without this on there, you run the risk of the valve of it actually trying to push through the rim and you can tear the tube. For inflating your tires, the best thing to do is, is actually a floor pump. It's a little slower, but you can control it. Most floor pumps have gauges built into them, so you can regulate the pressure in it. The, uh, most of the Topeak pumps, one of the pumps we carry here, has a dual head on it. You have a Presta side and a Schrader side. To use this, open your Presta valve up. You'd put this onto the side, onto the valve stem, pull the handle away, and that'll lock it on there. Pump your tire up when you're done, let go. If you've ever used a four pump, you'll notice when you release this, you hear a little hiss of air. The air you're hearing is what's in this tube, what's in the pump. You're not losing air out of here unless, as you pull it off slowly, it continues to hiss, then you'll be losing tire from your pressure from your tire. If you're pumping up a Schrader, same thing. Put it on, turn it away, it'll lock the pump on, and you can pump away. 
if you have a small pump that you carry on the bike. Some of these pumps will work with either Presta or Schrader, depending on how the end is set. Uh, this Topeak Road Morph that I'm using here today, or showing today, all you do is unscrew the cap on the end, and you notice it has a small hole in it. It's currently set up for the Presta. Unscrew that, pull it out, and when it comes out, you're going to see a plastic piece that comes with it behind it. This. And this configuration is set up for Presta. Small hole with an opening in it. When you put it, the air goes past and blows it. If you're using a Schrader valve, you would turn this around so the nubbin sticks out. Turn this around so you have the big hole pointed out. Put it back together. Put it back in. And put the cap back on. Now you notice we have a large hole there. It is now set to pump up a Schrader valve. So you're on the trail, you have a pump like this, you're on the trail, come across somebody that has a flat tire. If you have this pump, you can easily convert it to whatever they have if it's opposite or different than what you have. Tubes are pretty simple. They do to hold the air in your tire. If you have any questions, you can always call the hostel shop. Other than that, have a great day. Thank you.